Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben, and welcome back, everybody, in the Framework Fortune and God's Unchained community. Let's dive into the pre-weekend ranked meta-analysis. So I did decently last weekend in Mythic. Currently, I am in Auric Gold, trying to get back to Mythic before the weekend rank starts. Been, been doing a whole lot of experimenting across death, magic, nature, and war. War is, I've just not been able to get anything to work. I've got the Anubian Heirloom Death that is doing pretty well still. But magic, you can see I'm starting to kind of figure out a little flow here with a couple of different magic decks. And I'm staying away from Dralimar and the Primer Factor. I don't have them. And I'm really not interested in playing those types of magic uh, one turn kill decks. I'm trying to find some type of mid range aggro magic control mix. Something like that. I don't know yet. We'll see. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop into some research here and see what's happening. So, top popular decks over the last three days of course this is not probably going to show a good reflection of the weekend rank as there was a lot of testing going on but we can see in mythic most popular aggro nature and i'm betting this is kind of that hybrid amazon mix uh actually no it doesn't have hardly it doesn't have any amazons in it for the most part as far as uh card popularity goes except for the bark soren hunter so Amazon must not be quite as popular in Mythic. More of this kind of, I mean, it's pretty much the old wild decks just with some new tricks in it. Like the, the Howler here and the Bark Sworn Hunters. Oh, and War's Wake. You know, two mana summoning two of those injured sprouts. It's a decent little combo, I guess. I've seen a lot of nature players running it. And then, of course, we've got Heirloom Death next at 13% in Mythic. And then control magic at 10%. That guild zoo deception. A lot of people are starting to play more of this. The Ludian Thespian and a few of those other creatures really putting in work in this fast meta. The Guild Zoo Deception has been countering in a lot of matches a lot of my death shenanigans by stealing my creatures and stealing cards out of my hand. Stealing the relics like the Necro Scepter and Neferu's Kopesh. It's, it's very, very disruptive. You see Aggro Light actually dropping in popularity from last weekend so far here in mythic but let's spread it out here and let's look at gold to mythic so gold to mythic still aggro nature most popular oh real quick let's hop back to mythic check the highest win rate highest win rate seems to be heirloom death just with regen and aggro nature following barely behind it okay so that seems kind of a balanced meta so gold to mythic still majority nature then actually quite a bit of control magic and then heirloom death and popularity is actually down to eight percent overall from all the ranks war is actually most popular at 11 percent followed by that aggro nature if you're outside of mythic and that probably outside of diamond you're not running into too much heirloom death yeah, heirloom death still seeming to be the strongest and most consistent meta call right now with that guild zoo deception right behind it overall so analyzing and mythic here i uh, we're definitely going to see a lot of nature this weekend it was my prediction last weekend that we would see a shift to nature with all these amazon cards and new cards and after some testing uh, actually has transpired probably quite a bit of nature that you're going to run into no matter what ranks you are in if you're in the higher ranks you're going to run into heirloom death but probably not as much unless people are just sidelining it for now maybe people have been sidelining like me a little bit and testing other things and that's why it could have dropped the last three days in popularity but that's still going to be a problem to deal with when you run into it. But other than that, I think we'll probably see a pretty balanced mix from gold up of deception, magic, war. Maybe not too much war. I'm not seeing war able to really hang in this meta 
that well, and especially in my testing, it's been horrible. To check the top decks here the last three days, and Mythic ranked this aggro nature by Suchi JKS or something, 80% win rate. Only played 26 matches though, so there's not a lot to go off. 48 matches here, 80% or 79.2% win rate. And in the last three days, these are the top highest ranked decks and all four of them nature. So that's just reconfirming that it's going to be a nature weekend. See Velo holding it down with the heirloom death at a 70% win rate, but this is out of 95 matches compared to the smaller amount of matches these nature decks have so the more matches these nature decks play the more the win rates will come down more than likely closer to like a 70 let's check from gold to mythic see if we got any interesting decks sticking out see we got a zombie death 92 percent even though it's only 26 matches so i wonder where this guy started out at or where he's at in the ranks so it says a zombie death but he's got anubians in there the whole anubian package then just a nibble that's interesting one wicked fey two obelisk throwing in the melissa and magistrate hopefully they fix that bug i think they did that bug was really messed up I like the one Mutual Hatred, two Necro Scepters, Famished Ghoul, one of one Void Flash, more Anubians, one Iron Tooth Goblin. Trial begins. This is smart. One thing I've been able to do to make my deck a little bit more consistent is adding in two of the Trial Begins so I can go grab the Priestess of Takat early game if I was not able to get her in my hand. So... I like that call right there. Doesn't have anything over five mana in the deck. And it's it's a bit of a mix of what I was been testing, mix of the zombies with the Anubians, so very interesting. Very interesting deck. Shout out to Skylight. And then control magic by Cruelly. 86% out of 30 matches. What's he got in here? Anything in particular? I love two announced or unannounced arrivals. I love this card so much. So fun. Stormstress Lamb Guard. Pretty much looks like board control and small poke damage until he gets into the higher mana where he's got the two guild enforcers and then seven mana, two city planners. Which will keep them alive to be able to play the Halion Elites. So it's, it's kind of a ramp deck, but doesn't really have any of the ramp in it. More focused on board control, which I like that. You know, that's what we gotta have right now. It's tons of board control in this meta. So shout out to Cruelly. Just to show you guys what I'm working on. Was gonna do a live stream today, but got too busy uh, with other personal things. So was not able to do it. And now I'm running short on time and have to hurry up and try to get back into Mythic to maximize the amount of prize pool I get at the end of the weekend ranked. All right here. So let's just start with uh, Erratic Portal. Interesting. I'm not going to be holding any Aethers. I don't know if I want to put three Spires in my deck, though. Uh, I'm going to grab this miss, this uh, five mana here. That seems interesting. It's got an Echo 2. It's one of the newer cards. I have never used it. The Austere Sophist. Sophist? Roar, summon a 1 1 rat. So, actually, you're going to get two creatures from this card. Didn't really realize that until just now. Let's go ahead and type uh, Palace's Wand, get that on there. So, we can get our drawing going. Try to get a better card advantage on this guy. So, you got there a Bibliomaniac, Echo, draw a card. And then, does that one do the same thing? Yeah, that one does too. That's an echo card with that nonsense. Hmm. Let's go ahead and throw this out here. I'm gonna. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll go ahead and take the three damage to gain that nine favor. I want to get a jump on this guy. And I'll pop that mana, that mana there and just shoot this fellow off of the board. Get us another spell. Very nice. We can summon some Amazon recruits. And very nice. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and throw out this front line. It's one of the newer cards. And uh, the Haunted Armor. Only two mana, 3-3 three, three structure. So we can bounce the Aggravated Architect off of the Haunted Armor. It's going to take me probably a couple weeks to remember all these names of the new cards. <laughs> it's a lot to remember. They drop so much in such a small time period so taking out that wall there that's fine with me. well that was it can he target it with the ward yeah I guess he can I mean he's gonna delve a creature that's three mana instead of two mana this is this is not a full-on structure deck at all I just run some structures and the Aggravated Architect for some board control. Okay, the ward uh, did block it. That's what I was thinking. It would block that. So he just wasted that. Well, I guess he didn't waste it. He got the ward off. Let's go ahead and just play this and see what it does. Because, like I said, I've never played this card before. We got the rat, and then that summons another rat. So you get about four cards... For the price of one card. Or one creature for the price of four creatures. That's pretty nice. And I don't have any other structures. So nothing I can do there. There we go. Let's see. I can deal four damage to that. Let's go ahead and put that a four. Yeah, I can kill. Well, no, I can't kill that yet. We do have Oni, so let's go with Oni. I don't know if I want to summon another rat or not. Hey, yeah, let's do it. We can buff Oni up here. Mm, don't want to throw that surpassing blast. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and throw it to take this thing out. I'm just going to sacrifice that other, that card because we know we got two two or three, was it two more left in here. So he's got a lot to deal with now. And Oni's going to be giving other things ward if Oni stays alive. Another Bibliomaniac. So he's going to be drawing some more cards. This may be a Dra... Well, no, I don't think this is a Dralimar combo. Do we have any relic removal? I don't have any relic removal, so he is going to do some damage with that lightning talisman. I sacked this creature for the other one. One. Hmm. Oops. Let's go ahead and put the miraculous familiar down. I'll gain two favor for each in my hand, and that'll give me a nice bit of favor. What do I want to do here next? Yeah, let's play this spell. 
There's another aggravated architect. A holy writ. Oh boy. Well, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and throw down that mana shard mage. Whoops, I might have just... Uh, that's alright, whatever. And then we'll grab that guy too. And we'll start busting him in his head. Nice. Not really worried about these two little guys. Eh, we might kill Oni. We got a pretty good hand here. Both strength two or less and health two or less gain four health. So if I get these off the board, I could buff. I might kill it. Let's just see what he does. Oh, he's going to... What's he going to do? He's going to kill the familiar. Got two mana left. He's taking them out for me. Ooh. Now, this is the combo I was looking for. The spawn of Catherine is a structure, so now I can just throw that right off of the spawn there uh, let's draw another card there we go and I'm gonna stick actually I'm gonna grab that ranger first bow because I can use that ranger first bow with the Holy Writ and this, and this adventure, if he doesn't kill everything here with some type of spell, board wipe, whirlwind, or that new card, I forget what the new one is, that can do five to your god and five to your, oh, no, he didn't. All right, well, that's bad news bears for him. So we're just going to go ahead and turn that into a rat. He doesn't need that nonsense out there. Two mana left. Yeah, perfect. Whoops, wrong thing. Drop that. And then we can hit some damage here. And we'll pass it back to him. Now, the one, if these two can stay alive and play that holy writ. Uh, nope. He's going to kill everything except for... The spawn, but he'll probably use his mage bolt to finish that off. I've got a pretty good hold on him, I think, here. Oh, nope, got, oh, he got an Athenian archer after I grabbed that out of the sideboard. Yeah, let's just go ahead and set up another board here. And I think we'll just go ahead and blast him for three damage. Why not? Just keep that pressure on him. And I think next turn I'll play the unannounced arrival with pleasure. He is not letting me keep anything on the board that I can play this holy writ with. So that's unfortunate. Trying to get the ward out there. Boy, he is, still, he is so worried about these aggravated, uh, these ar aggravated architects. That's really not e what he should be worrying about. There's another spawn. Let's go ahead and unannounced arrival. Mm, I'm going to go with the firewall. Another great defense card. I'm actually curious what price the firewall is. This is a card I'd like to have for my magic decks. It's a great promo card. It's not a structure. It's an Alanian, but still very strong frontline card. And then why not? Let's just go ahead. Oh boy. I just thought about how stupid I am. I've been holding the sudden rally 
which I could have used at any point in time. It was only three mana, and then used Holy Writ to buff these. Hmm. Mm -mm. Just trash me in the comments. Just go ahead. Go ahead and roast me up. <laughs> wow. Can't imagine how many of y'all were screaming right there. So they threw that big spell. That was the one I was talking about. It's killing everything. Uh, but no big deal there because we had that ward on. So we're not going to be able to use the Holy Writ once again. I had plenty of times to use it. Didn't realize I could have. But we are going to throw on another safeguard incantation. In case he comes out with any other big spells. Yeah, we'll drop the All Sea Inspire too. I'm sitting there thinking I'm going to need some card draw soon. Okay. Yeah, we'll just shoot him in the face. There we go. So I got plenty of board wipe here, but he hasn't really played much board yet. He does have almost half of his deck in his hand. 11 cards left. I got 10 cards left. I'm going to be drawing all my cards soon. Let me see. I don't think in this deck I have any big creatures. It's all pretty low mana. But I do know Palace is left. Palace could come in real handy here late game. For some possible shenanigans. Oh, there's the mana ramp. So either he didn't draw it or he just did not want to play it. And he didn't do anything. What was he doing there? Yeah, that's in my hand for sure. Uh, okay, I'm very confused. I could. Yeah, that's what we're going to do, I think. Just drop another spawn down here. No, I don't want to use that. I don't want to give that to them, though. Kill one of them. I'll wait till next turn, probably. What was he shooting at? Shooting that at? Oh, he didn't get the draw. Did he not get the draw that? I don't think he did. I think that went. I don't think that got obliterated because he couldn't draw it. Throwing a. Uh, Aether out there, Aether Vanguard. And there comes Palace next turn. Hmm. Can definitely throw the Mana Shard, uh, the young Mana Born in there and start. You know, as we're getting lower, we'll draw into that next level of Mana Born. go let's take that and I'm gonna go ahead and play a still one damage to all creatures so I can wipe this now I'm going to play the holy writ and buff this <laughs> so that thing stays alive and then Yeah, we'll just go ahead and take him out the rest of the way. There we go. Keep keeping his board clean there. And there's the next Mana Shard Fiend. So I'm down to seven cards. Drew that one off of the All Sea Inspire. So that next level one. Okay, there's a Polyhydra. So that's what he's waiting on. So I got my work cut out for me. I've got to try to kill a Polyhydra. Shoo, this is going to be rough. Or if I can get around the polyhydra. 
None of these are going to do damage to it. That one might be able to. No, he's probably going to try to go for Palace. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and delve a one mana creature, see if there's anything. Give plus two health to each other friendly creature. Yeah, let's do that. We did get that ward off there. Oh, it didn't give me the health. That's right, because it's roar. That's okay. Got to get that protective off there. Only way to do it is hit for at least five damage, which the Mana Shard Fiend can. Yeah, he went after Palace, so I'm not going to take any damage this turn. Okay, that's fine, whatever. See, I got three damage I can do to his god in my hand four damage five damage with my god power hmm. I'm gonna just try to just try to kill him I'm going to leave that out there as a distraction because I really don't care at this point. I'm just trying to get this last three damage done to him. I don't think he can kill me fast enough. Nasty. Playing the Viking in the in the magic deck. Helmna, the new legendary Viking with Frontline. Oh, God. No, that's, that's a... Yeah, he just healed three because of that. I forgot that thing heals. I wasn't expecting him to have that type of... Anything that could heal like that, but that makes perfect sense in magic. There's not a lot of healing, so this is a good choice. Boy, that came that thing come in strong. Ugh, if he didn't heal himself, I could have killed him with that. I need that in my hand. Let's go ahead and play the big the big mage here. We'll throw Oni. Let's throw that too. That's about all we can do. So I got one more turn. I've got four damage, five damage. I need four more damage to kill him. See if I have another surpassing blast in deck. Uh, I think I might. Nope, that one's gone. I'm drawing these stupid things here. Yeah, boy. Yeah, this is rough. This is real rough now. I can take that out. Let's go ahead and take that out. And I'm just reaching to try to kill him. Nope, I'm out of cards. I don't have any, th any way to kill him. He got me. So, got a lot of work to do on my magic deck. Don't know what he's waiting on. Can he not kill me this turn? Oh, no. You're just playing games with me. I'm going to go ahead and scoop. I don't know why he's playing games. <laughs> All right. We'll hop into one more match here. All right. So we got in a deception deck here. We'll see what this thing can do. Well, we start now with the Priestess of Takat, so whatever he's going to do, it better be quick. 
Yeah, this is a great hand to start with. And I'm going first. Oof. Yeah, let's go ahead and pop this untold greed. Get us a little card advantage here. Do a little damage to him. I did get a trial begins. I already have priestess, but I could always just grab another priestess and have both of them out early. Oh, I hate this thing. Uh, I do. Mm. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and put out the priestess and see what he does. He's going to get something out of my hand. I hate this card so much when it's played against me. I always usually like to take it out. Oh boy, we got two <laughs> Shadow of Lethanons there. That's not good. Yeah, we're going to get need to get to killing this guy pretty fast. I am going to go ahead and grab that other priestess. For our combo shenanigans, he's going to start doing damage this next turn. Let's see, we got one in there. Kill the priestess if you... Well, you're not going to kill the priestess? Ooh, Cobra Scepter. That's going to do some damage. You need to get that off. Oh, okay. The, good, the card he got out of my hand was the Burling Scab. I'm not worried about that. All right, let's start doing some damage here. Go ahead and let me get them cards. Put that out there for a reason. Oh, and we got a sleepy boy. We're going to throw this down, put this guy to sleep. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of that one. We don't need that. And then we will take that out. And those guys will be asleep. And we won't have to worry about that next turn. We got one, two, just need one priestess to die. And we can pop this next. We also got Land of the Dead in hand. I think we're good here. Got three turns before he or she is able to play a Rapture Dance. Gave him burn two, I'm not worried about that. Can this... Hit. Let's see, can this hit these cats? Nope. Not going to hit the cats. Okay. So, I think the best option here is to go and kill. Oh, okay. Uh. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop the Wretched Vanguard to Okay. I'm going to grab the Adventure so he can't draw any more cards. Be it. Be at five and a half mana, so I got one more turn to get through before I can end this game with Land of the Dead. Very nice. What is that doing? Okay, uh, I don't care about that. That's, an, that's perfectly fine. Here comes some of the buff cards, so he's gonna try to kill me in this next turn or two. We know what we must do. Take that out. Go ahead and drop him. Draw another card just to keep him occupied. As long as he can't kill me this turn, I should have this in the bag. One, two, three, four. Yeah. We got everything we need to kill him. He can pop Rapture Dance. I'm going to have to kill him on this next turn. He's almost out of mana. So I don't think he has it to kill me. Nope. 
Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I could make them all go to sleep, but I'm not going to do that. Let's get that out of the way. Go ahead and land of the dead, and that will be the end of the game. He almost got me. But you got to be quicker than that. <laughs> I think. I'm pretty sure this game's over with. I could be wrong. Rapture dances, he could win here. Because he could kill both of these without triggering the priestess. If he doesn't have Rapture Dance, or if he does and doesn't play it, and he kills either one of these, then he loses. He has to take these priestess out first. Simultaneously. And his front line, his front line, he's, he's, he can't just skip over it because there's two front lines out here. So he's in a hard, uh, he, he, may, he must not have Rapture Dance. Because if he did, that would have been, that would have been the only play he would have had. Oh no, there it is. So he did play Rapture Dance. Why did he wait so long to play? I guess to try to mess with me or something. So, yep, losing that game just barely. Just barely. Good game, Casey, whoever you are. That's it for your pre-weekend ranked meta analysis. Be expecting a whole lot of nature. We'll be back Saturday live on this channel and Twitch. You can go join us on Twitch, twitch.tv backslash Framework Fortune if you want to watch it there with no delay. And we'll be... Playing probably 9 or 10 matches of the weekend ranked as normal. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Till next time. This is war with the enemy. Think that it was meant to be. Living in a time where disease is on every screen. I won't let them fester me. I know most are festering. Negativity.